Hello everyone this is Gary from Fantastic Funders and in this lecture we are going to talk about whether the congress should do the civil disobedience movement against the british decision of including indians in the war without asking them simply put the question is to cdm or not I'll just do the quick background to this and we know that the Congress has won the elections and the war is already on the World War II and I'll just put it here elections are there and then World War II is already on and we are already in the war what to do so that is the question now different people different stands let us see what all have to say in this uh, first of all we will begin with Congress so what is the Congress stand Gandhi ji and other main leadership they give three reasons for not starting the movement at this time let us see what are, what these reasons are or you can do one exercise also can you quickly think of the reasons for which we should not be doing civil disobedience movement at this time if you can you, you just take pause the video here think for a moment and then come back okay now the three reasons are number one is the cause of the allies they say that the because the Brit Britain and France are just Britain and France are just their cause is just so we should support them that's number one number two is that in India there is no Hindu Muslim un unity and we have done a long series on the topic of communalism spreading and we have also know we also know that how Muhammad Ali Jinnah was into the extreme phase of communalism, communalism by now. And the number three is that the atmosphere didn't exist. He, what do you mean by this that atmosphere didn't exist? I'll just tell you that uh, in a moment. And atmosphere didn't exist. What this means? It means that uh, my masses are not ready for such a thing neither the masses are ready nor the congress is ready for such a mass struggle it was not organizationally prepared because why it wasn't prepared because Gandhi realized that the congress of that time had turned corrupt it had uh, it had it's, uh, this lack of cohesion it was undisciplined so, so discipline was poor and there was no cohesion in the people and because of these things the there was not it wasn't possible to run the cdm and then uh, he also you know said that we must exhaust all our ne uh, possibilities of negotiations with the government so that the government is seen wrong by all so if we must negotiate with all if you have uh, read ramayan even R lord ram at the uh, uh, before he declared war on Rama and offered to negotiate otherwise there can be an accusation on you of not of being peaceful so that is why Gandhi said that we must negotiate to the extreme which of course is a good idea and uh, that, that's how it, things should be we should always try to solve things amicably uh, number th uh, four is that he said people should feel that the masses are ready I'll just write here people should feel that the masses are ready and there's time for the mass action only then it can be done now this was the congress re reaction called the stand of the congress regarding whether to cdm or not let's look what the left had to stay, say regarding this they said that let's war and the regarding communalism and corruption in congress those problems can be tackled on later once the struggle uh, has started and uh, regarding the organizational strength uh, this is communalism and corruption in congress uh, regarding the uh, organizational strength that can be built during the struggle you cannot prepare for the for the war first and then go to fight they believe that we must go to fight directly and then build on uh, later on along with the war but then you know left were split internally also they had their difference of opinion and for example uh, Bose wanted left to 
split the Congress if they don't launch the struggle and organize a parallel Congress and then launch their own struggle. So that was the Bose uh, uh, idea uh, of uh, CDM. And but the but the Congress Socialist Party and the Communist Party of India, the CSP and the CPI, they differ from both on this. They said that no struggle could be launched without Gandhi. Number one. Number two. They said that uh, the attempt should be to pressurize the Congress to launch the struggle and not launch our own struggle. So these are the two points on which the leftists were getting divided on this issue of whether to CDM or not. Now that was the leftist idea. Now let's see what Nehru has to say because Nehru is an important figure at this time. So we must know his what were his views. He said that uh, he, he knew, he understood that the war was imperialistic in character that as it had its own imperial uh, imp uh, views related to imperialism. It was expanding at the expense of India. But in no case, Nehru wanted Hitler to win because Hitler was a bigger threat than had Hitler won, that it would have been disastrous for India also. So he wanted an early CDM because he wa uh, was against the imperialist character. But because he was against the Hitler also, and he wanted the anti-Nazi struggle led by the Britain and France to continue so he wanted to support the Britishers also so in the end he becomes neutral that let us not support let us not uh, oppose do nothing and just wait for it to end and he thus went along with the Gandhian line now a lot of people say that we should have supported the war but what about Hitler there is no answer to that question now all this is happening we know what uh, what the right is the gandhi the left is the nehru if what if all of them have to say let us see how british react to this preparation by india or let's let's call it preparation only to cdm or not british were very clever people they knew one thing that by now masses are tired and if they are tired there cannot be mass struggle right there cannot be violent struggle is impossible and once the there is no struggle, they would obviously say there would be no constitutional uh, advances for you it, uh, till Congress comes in agreement with the Muslim communalist. So here Cong uh, British laid the seeds of partition by declaring that Congress must finish off their difference with the Muslims. Uh, Muslim communalist only then we can give you some constitutional advancement and they handled Congress in this way regarding the left th these people they were arrested by the Britishers they were beaten by the Britishers cases were filed against them and if Congress did anything then it was to be crushed that was very clear with them and in fact uh, through the documents exchanged between the uh, Britishers in living in India and those living in Britain today we know this thing that there was one uh, top secret draft there was a secret draft which said that uh, regarding the revolutionary movement ordinance it said that uh, to cripple any preemptive strikes by the congress that was to that was the draft about that they would destroy any such movement by the congress even before it takes any shape and advantages was that it will show them in confrontation confrontation and basically what they were again trying the british over here they were trying to divide the congress i'll tell you how they were trying to uh, show that the British and Congress are in confrontation number one. So liberal sympathy by showing them Congress is with the excess power that is uh, Germany, Italy, Japan, all these and and they would also win the leftist sympathy this is what british thought by showing out to the world that the congress is in support of japan and germany so basically what congress is, british is trying to do using congress to win over the liberals uh, and leftist over here and all these also got the support of the uh, pol all these policies got support of the secretary of the state zetland so you know all this these things they just prove one thing everything we we talked about in this lecture that they did not want to leave india after the war was over so they are not going to leave india that's number one and number two that they treated congress as their enemy this, these are two points that we can take out of this 
Now, Indians were feeling very humiliated because of the British attitude. So Indians were feeling humiliated because their silence was being considered as if they could not fight. Their silence was cons being considered by the Britishers as a weakness. In August uh, 1940 will come a very important event which is called as August Offer. We will see what this offer is. Uh, uh, in this back actually this is the background right but that we do want to prove them that we are not weak so there will come august offer and after august offer comes individual satyagraha this is the movement which tells the british that we are not being silent here we can also fight you we'll talk about it why this was limited satyagraha or individual this individual satyagraha and why was it launched and while all this was happening, uh, uh, this August offer came, there also came b just before the August offer one important event called the Pakistan Resolution. I have already talked in detail about this. I'll just give you a quick reference about these things now. Okay, so now let's begin with this Pakistan Resolution. Just a quick revision of what we talked about this. This Pakistan Resolution, this was brought by Muslim League in Lahore and so this is also called as the Lahore resolution and the purpose the aim of this was the greater muslim autonomy in the british india that was the aim and this resolution it was pre presented by few people for example it uh, it involved uh, fazlul haq and also it involved people like muhammad uh, zafarullah zafarullah okay and it said what, what are the demand uh, how this muslim autonomy will be given this will be given uh, by in the shape of that the northwest frontier province and the eastern part all this shall be made autonomous independent and sovereign okay independent autonomous sovereign and in other regions there would be safeguards for the muslims so safeguards as another demand for the muslims of the other regions and you already know this right this all this is called pakistan resolution uh, the word pakistan was not proposed here it was first proposed by chaudhry rahmat ali uh, uh, in his uh, you know pakistan declaration 1933 and uh, jinnah and all these leaders they kept their firm belief in secularism at that time hindu muslim unity but this idea of pakistan resolution really culminated here uh, of pakistan with the pakistan resolution and why do i say that because it was through this resolution that with this which formed the basis of the 1946 um, for the for the muslim league to struggle for the one state for the muslims and all and and the one and that direct action day in august and all those things will be uh, on the basis of this pakistan resolution by the muslims or rather not the muslims we should say the muslim league because not all muslims were part of the muslim league now this resolution this came in march 1940 and after this in march 1940 um, i mean this pakistan resolution came very important event in 1940 and this is called as the august offer now this offer it was an offer given by the britishers to the indians first of all from the british to the indians of course regarding some concession they would like to give to india but can you think of the reason because of which british would get ready to talk to indians because just a few moments back we talked that how britishers are not ready to conciliate to any extent um, to, to even to the minimum possible extent uh, regarding indian freedom struggle but here they talk about it and the reason is that because britishers are starting to losing their war against hitler britishers have come home to us that let's talk let us give you something and what have they got in this august offer for indians let's see that number one they say they now are saying we will give you dominion status something that indians demanded in 1929 starting from somewhere in 1917-18 or probably even before that uh, we we were seeking this thing then and 10 years or 12 years down the line now they are offering us this thing do you think we will accept it let's see that number two 
they said that okay we want you to have more representation and suddenly they get very concerned about indians and they say in the executive council we will have more seats for the indians and uh, number three now you will be surprised by this change of heart of the britishers they said for which they let go had just denied just a few um, uh, you know minutes back in this lecture or, or probably in the earlier lecture that the constituent assembly was to be set up after the war so they are planning now the constituent assembly uh, to be set up set up after the war but uh, you know they people will have to follow government orders regarding few things they're coming with, uh, to us seeking uh, help with an offer and even then that they are putting some conditions for example um, regarding these four things britishers would have absolute control and these are number one the minority rights number two defense number three is the treaties now these are treaties is very important because there were so many princely states in india and number four is the all india services why all india services because that is the steel framework of the raj because that is on the basis of what the British imperialism is able to run in India and that is because uh, ultimately it is the awakening of the officials of all India services that the Britishers will leave India that plays a very important role but apart from these four conditions one thing that was introduced by the Britishers even in this help that they were seeking uh, through uh, it was that they were trying to divide India and they said that yes you can make constitution after the war was over we can consider making constitutional assembly but no constitution can be made without the consent of the minority. Now obviously what, what they are doing here is giving power to the Muslim League. So this is an offer. Do you think it's a good offer? pause the video and think for a moment what kind of reactions would come to this video uh, this uh, august offer what do you think uh, how congress will react to this or how muslim league will react to this what is your evaluation why don't you just write two three lines in your copy and uh, think over it that uh, how do you evaluate this august offer by the congress and you can also uh, write down the question and send it to me for checking um, the question is that critically uh, evaluate critically comment on the august offer of 1940 now let's see what were the reactions to this first of all let's check what the uh, congress had to say the congress reaction they said are you giving us dominion status now we are not seeking it anymore now we want full independence this is not we we have struggled in ourselves among our, among our people only to seek dominion status and then you didn't uh, give us now we don't want it what about muslim league muslim league of course they would like that because this had created a possibility for the partition of india and china would love it the evaluation is that for the first time now this is very important for the first time the britishers have considered few things and this was that you know that the Britishers are ruling India for the first time they were telling us that even we can give you power for the first time they did not say that Indians are unfit for ruling now that is why August offer is so important in Indian history and in after in in this August offer that this was in August 1940 and in July 1941 there came the executive council was actually enlarged and but not defense finance and home dfc def defense finance and home these three things were not given dfh rather these things were not given and at this time only in fact national defense council was formed by the britishers um, not of much importance to us at this time anyway so this august offer was uh, quite hypocritical on the part of the britishers because ultimately even in the in seeking help they were trying to divide us and how do we respond to this august offer our response to august offer came in the uh, shape of individual satyagraha or the limited satyagraha let's see what this is individual or limited satyagraha 
Um, now, before I do this individual satyagraha, I would like to share with you this amazing video of the um, meeting of Gandhi and Tagore. And then there is the small clipping also has uh, showing Gandhi launching individual satyagraha. Just see this first and then we can discuss uh, later after the video in detail. See this video, please. For a while, to pass beyond the darkness that enveloped the destiny of the world, Gandhi and Kasturbai visited Shanti Niketan at Poet Tagore's invitation in February 1940. Notwithstanding his ill health, Tagore came to the mango grove to express his love and reverence for Gandhi. This limited satyagraha, it was to be carried by the selected few individuals and uh, this was kept, why was this uh, limited that is an important thing, this can be a question in your paper and the reason given by Gandhi was that satyagraha was kept limited so as not to embarrass Britain's war effort by a mass upheaval in India. Now because India did not wa uh, want to oppose the Britishers because they were fighting the Germany, Hitler. At the same time, we were also opposing them that because they themselves were fascist. So this was the midway found by Gandhi at that time. In fact, Gandhi writes uh, in his, uh, you know, he explains in a letter this thing to the Viceroy that why are we doing this? And in fact, this question has been asked in paper. The statement was given in one of the exams and it was asked that who said these words. So I will just read it out to you. The Congress is as much opposed to victory for Nazism as any Britisher can be. But their objection cannot be carried to the extent of their participation in the war. And since you and the Secretary of the State for India have declared that the whole of India is voluntarily helping the war effort, it becomes necessary to make clear that the vast majority of the people of India are not interested in it. They make no distinction between Nazism and the double autocracy that rules India. This statement, this letter to Viceroy Bangandiji sums up 
क्लियर क्लैरिफाइज वाई दिस वॉज लिमिटेड सत्याग्रह एंड यू कैन ऑलवेज कोट द फर्स्ट टू लाइन्स ऑफ दिस गिवन स्टेटमेंट एट द कांग्रेस इज एज मच अपोज टू द विक्ट्री फॉर नाजिजम एज द एज एनी ब्रिटिश और कैन बी एंड ऑल सी हाउ दिस सत्याग्रह वॉज सपोज टू वर्क एक्चुअली द डिमांड ऑफ दी सत्याग्रह इज वॉज दैट इट वॉज फॉर द फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच and to preach against the participation in the war so the basic demand was the freedom of speech against the participation in the war and the process was this that the satyagrahi he would inform the magistrate of the time and the place where he is going to protest and, and make an anti war speech this is how it went on and then uh earlier these questions were asked they might be asked again that who was the first one to do the uh, this individual satyagraha the answer is uh, vinoba bhave vinoba bhave he went on satyagraha on 17th october 1940 this date is not to be remembered now i'm referring it just for the sake of understanding Vinoba Bhave was the uh, first person to do this, and after him went um, a second person was uh, Jawahar Lal Nehru. Second person was J L Nehru, J L Nehru. And if you want to know the third person also, I'll name him for you. The third person over here was um, Brahm Dutt. Brahm Dutt. Now. if the the in this process like he will he'll go to the magistrate make a declaration of the time and the place right now if suppose uh, if the satyagrahi is not arrested then he would again repeat the performance and he will move into the villages and start a trek towards delhi and this movement over here came pop popular as what is now known as a uh, delhi chalo movement or delhi chalo movement delhi chalo or go to delhi let's move to delhi that kind of movement now this satyagraha it solved two purposes this was very important for india why because number one it gave an expression to the people of india so that is number one importance of this you can also think of yourself what kind of impact would such a thing create number number one of course it will uh, give expression to the voice of the people of india and then it will also give an opportunity to the britishers to amicably to peacefully settle the matter by accepting the indian demands number 3 it would tell the britishers that the people's patience is not the weakness so the britishers would be clarified about this thing it would basically tell the government that even though we are not opposing you but we are against the war and uh, and in this struggle initially there wasn't much response but ultimately it did pick up and more than 25000 people were arrested by may 1941 which were opposing the war uh, in the shape of the satyagraha started by gandhi on his call it, it all happened and meanwhile gandhi in the background he is preparing people for the next phase of the struggle which we will be discussing soon oh yes there can be one question uh, in this regard uh, the uh, all these people who were arrested why they were arrested because they violated what is called as the defense of india act this can be question in your paper why the people here were arrested so this is the answer to that right now while all this was happening at international level came few changes at the international level uh, that will be taught in the next lecture okay so the content will be what happened what were those international changes which will define the course of the history which is about to happen and then number 2 an important event that will happen is crips mission will come to india britishers would like to talk to indians what happened here that britishers were ready to talk to us we will be answering that question also in the next lecture right so this was about today's lecture but quickly please make sure that you have shared the lecture with others number 1 and if you like the lecture please do click on the like button and lastly if you want all these 
videos to come in your email box then you will need to subscribe to us and that you can do by clicking over here on this button right so that's all and thank you so much for watching this video